Hi, it's Will from StonerCastle.com, and this is my latest tutorial. This is how to make a drawing box. A drawing box is a nice box that's custom made for your art and drawing supplies. See, so let's take a look. And on the inside here, there's a nice piece of sanded plywood, so you can actually use this to draw on. You put your paper on here, and you can draw on this. So you can travel with this, take it with you, go for a walk or you know, something like that. And I call mine a medieval drawing box because it has all my various medieval-esque um, paper and ink supplies. And I have tutorials on all of this stuff. How to make feather quills, how to make a wax seal stamper, right? How to make ink, and how to make paper. See all these wonderful papers? So you can check out all those various tutorials. And uh, one quick look here underneath is where you can keep your sketch pads and papers, larger sheets of papers. Um, thanks for watching. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If not, hit that button. I do two videos every week, and I put one out every Tuesday and every Friday. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you out of your creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to get a measurement on what size you want to make your box. And I'm going to give you the measurements as I go along here on mine. And if you want more exacting instructions, go to the tutorial on my website listed in the description of this video down below. The first thing we do is to cut two sheets of foam board to the size of our box. And here's a tip on cutting foam board is you make three passes each one deeper than the previous and that'll cut foam board nice and clean. So you make two of those and you glue them together. And the dimensions of my box are right there 12 by 14. So now we didn't need to make the sides, and the sides are a, a, an assembly of two pieces. So each side gets two pieces glued together, and it forms a lip like this. I'll show you. See that lip there on the top? That's for your lid to sit in, and the bottom is flush. So you make two of those that size, and glue them to your base. And glue them right to the side of your base. Don't glue them on top. Watch how I lift it. Lift and glue to the side. Now we're going to cut the measure and cut the final pieces to make all the sides. Go to the outside diameter. You can't use the same dimension because now the box size has changed. So first you cut a piece like this and you glue it to the side and then you glue another one, measure and glue another one to the other side now we need to finish off that internal lip for the cover to sit on, so we cut two pieces and there's the dimensions of my pieces, like that. See it? The lid is going to sit in that nice little shelf. Now we're going to make a little section, a little compartment to hold our sketch pad or papers. So these are one inch pieces of foam doubled up. So cut one inch strips of foam, double them up and glue them together and then glue them around the inside of the box like this. See now this causes another shelf. Now you can vary that height if you want. You can make it not as tall or a little taller, depending on how big your sketch pad is or what you want. And then make yourself a little cover to go in there and put a hole in it so you can get it out like this. See? So now that itself becomes a sort of drawer, an organizer drawer. So go 
glue pieces all the way around it, not on the sides, glue these now right on top. Because if you glued them on the side, this would no longer fit inside your box. So you put them right down on top. And then add any kind of organizer little sections you want. With pieces of uh, foam board, just like that. And there we go. Now all we do need to do is to make our cover. So I cut a piece of foam board the size of our cover that fits right in and sits on the shelf. And I wanted to add a piece of uh, sanded plywood to it. So cut and measure your sanded plywood to go on your box. And then glue that to your lid. Very nice. Now what you can do here is see now you've got a surface to draw on. So say you're in a park or in the woods or something, you don't have a surface to draw on, you do now. See, now you can flip it over and protect that piece of wood, just like that, and now it's hidden away inside the box. Very nice, I like it a lot. So how do you de decorate the top of the box? You don't have to, you can paint it, you can um, draw on it, I consider drawing on mine, or you can print something up and uh, glue that down. And that's what I did. I printed up a nice drawing. And you get bonus points if you tell me what this drawing is. The name of this drawing and the artist. And that's it. I used um, watered down white glue. You have a drawing box with all your supplies. It's quite wonderful. It's reminiscent of my light box project. Which you might like if you like this project. So you can use your medieval supplies. Right? Or you can use your more traditional supplies. Put brushes and erasers and tortillas and all your different compasses and stuff. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.